Ormus National and State Investigation unsealed today, revealing shocking arrests. The U.S. Attorney's Office confirming that the three top leaders of the Bandidos gang have been arrested, two of them right here in San Antonio. Our camera, the only one at that raid and outside the federal courthouse where those two suspects had just had their first court appearance. Courtney Freeman explains how this two-year investigation unfolded. This neighborhood on Paula Drive and Jupe Drive in southeast San Antonio woke to chaos surrounding this home. FBI and DEA agents all lined the streets as investigators combed through the house. They were looking for evidence related to these men. 56-year-old John Portillo, who the U.S. Attorney's Office says is the national vice president of the Bandidos Outlaw Motorcycle Organization. The other man arrested is 31-year-old Justin Forrester, who the U.S. Attorney's Office says is the gang's national sergeant at arms. Both men are from San Antonio. We also confirmed that the gang's national president, 60-year-old Jeffrey Pike from Conroe, was also arrested. Their list of charges is not short. Aiding in crimes through racketeering, which include murder, robbery, drug trafficking, and extortion. Also, conspiracy to commit assault with a dangerous weapon and conspiracy to possess with the intent to distribute 500 or more grams of methamphetamine. According to that indictment, the Bandidos gang declared it was at war with the Cossacks motorcycle gang in 2013. This raid, the culmination of the 23 month operation, followed the violence and drug activity that stemmed from that so called war. Neighbors were reluctant to talk to us on camera today about the arrests, but say they've seen Portillo and Forrester at the home, now surrounded by FBI and DEA agents collecting evidence. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Now, all three men are still in federal custody, rather, and they will remain there without bond. If convicted, they could all face life in prison.